glory mighty god we say thank you our king of kings our lord of lords the one that cannot fail the god that is more than enough the one that is our strength our refuge our hiding place a very present help in time of need jehovah is your name we give you praise jehovah is your name we give you all the glory we thank you because of who you are thanking you because of who you have made us we appreciate you we celebrate you we give you all the glory we give you all the honor mighty god we thank you ancient of days we give you all the praise jehovah god we adore you we worship you our king of kings our lord of lords the great i am the lily of the valleys the one that can never fail the almighty god we do appreciate you we do celebrate you we give you all the glory we give you all the praise we adore you father we thank you thank you for this season for this opportunity we don't take it for granted that we are able to gather in your presence we just want to thank you because of what you're set to do we want to thank you because of all you are doing receive all the glory receive all the honor receive all adoration we thank you we bless you we honor you we give you praise and we give you all the glory blessed be your mighty name king jesus blessed be your mighty name king of glory blessed be your mighty name everlasting father we do appreciate you we celebrate you we give you honor we give you praise we give you glory in the exalted name of jesus christ we have prayed amen and amen and amen glory to god you're welcome in the name of jesus christ let me begin by apologizing we have been trying to have this service two hours ago due to one technical hit or the other um, challenges in transmission of power we are starting now and we thank god and we are going straight into the word of god lord grant me rest in my marriage hallelujah that is what we shall be looking at today Remember, we are getting ourselves ready for our annual conference that comes up from Monday. Hallelujah. Monday, 6 a.m., we are blasting the day, blasting the conference, just blasting the week ahead of us, getting ready for a time in the presence of God like we've never had before. Hallelujah. I know it's going to be a great, great, great opportunity. And God is surely going to visit us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, grant me rest in my marriage. God has promised us in this conference he wants to give us rest he wants us to step into different dimensions of rest in every area of our lives and it is my prayer that you and I will be able to step into that rest in the name of Jesus Christ when we look at marriage we are talking about husband and wife we are talking about husband wife and children we are talking about all those intricacies and we know for a fact if there is an uh if there is an institution that is under great attack then it is the institution of marriage and the enemy is all out just to wreck marriages to ensure people that are due for marriage remain single and those that are in marriage to just make life a hell of experience so that they can come out and all this is because satan understands the importance of marriage satan will never attack anything that is not of value and when your marriage when my marriage is valuable to god and it has value that is that becomes the place of attack of the enemy but i want us to know that god is able to do beyond what we are able to do god is able to reach out to us god is able to visit us in a totally new dimension and we give him all the glory we give him all the praise hallelujah we also appreciate god for his hand he has continued to show us his kindness he has continued to show us his mercy and we just give him all the glory we appreciate him we celebrate him we honor him of surety, we can only say that god is faithful and god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think glory to god 
Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 21. And I want us to begin reading from verse 43. This is going to be, uh, this is our anchor scripture in the conference. And for the few minutes we have, I'd just like us to share on this as we prepare ourselves for our night vigil. Glory to God. We are going to have a night vigil tonight, getting ready for the conference that is coming ahead. And more and more and more details will come out in that night vigil. Um, Joshua chapter 21 and verse number 43. And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he swore to give unto their fathers, and they possessed it and dwelt, th dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them rest round about. Hallelujah. According to all that he swore unto their fathers, and there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord, um, of all their enemies before them, the Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. They have failed not out of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. Hallelujah. I'd like us to hold on to that scripture. This afternoon, I would just want us to take some time and read that word, that part of scripture, and bring your marriage into that scripture. I want you to know that, and the Lord gave unto Israel, you put your name there, the Lord gave unto Eda all the land which he swore to give unto their fathers. Each and every one of us that is married or is to be married, praise the Lord is going and is receiving an inheritance from God. And God gives all that he promised to give. All the joy, all the peace, all the fruitfulness, all the productivity, God has promised to give it all. Hallelujah. And because God has promised to give it all, God gives rest round about. And the reason why God gave them rest is because something happened. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse 44, part B. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. The reason why they were able to have rest, the reason why they were able to have rest, is because God dealt with their enemies. I'm here this afternoon to just bring a brief chat. In the area you need rest, the need there is need to identify the enemies who are the enemies in your marriage is it sickness and disease is it another woman somewhere or another man somewhere is it misunderstanding lack of communication is it financial challenges that are the enemy of your marriage who is the enemy god dealt with all their enemies when god was giving the israelites rest from the bondage in Egypt, he dealt with their enemies. So when God tells us, I'm going to give you rest, God is actually telling us, I'm going to be an enemy to the enemies of the rest that you have experienced. Whoever has been an enemy to you automatically becomes an enemy to God. And God says, I'm going to give you rest because I will deal with your enemies is barrenness the reason why there is no peace in your home is barrenness the reason why you don't find joy in your home god says i will give you rest i will give you rest in your marriage and we are crying to god telling god give us rest in the name of jesus grant us rest in the name of jesus christ let it be king of glory that we are stepping into new dimensions of rest in the name of Jesus, grant us rest roundabout. We have three more days before the conference. Three nights, praise the Lord. Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. And we step into the conference. We have Saturday during the day and Sunday during the day. Three nights and two days is enough for us to be ready. Is enough for us to sit before God and package ourselves and purpose in our minds that we are going to allow the word of God to prevail. We are going to allow the purposes of God to come to pass. We are not going to sit and watch the enemy deal with us in a wrong way. 
rather we are going to let god know that which we require in our lives god is aware of the areas of unrest god is aware of the challenges we are going through but we need to also partner with god in this season and agree with god that god is going to grant us rest roundabout we have to allow him to speak to us and that is why in this conference the word of god will be more than abundant you will hear your word out of the five sessions every day you must place a demand on heaven that heaven will send forth your word we must get to a place where we are sure that the word of god will come to pass in our lives we have to be readily advised we have to be convinced that god will ensure his word comes to pass in our lives praise the lord we are going to be we are going to uh, get to a place where we are telling god we want to see your word we want your word to come our way this will be a mountain of instructions god is going to be giving us instructions god is going to be giving us the direction on what to do as i said all of us need rest but the prescription of rest differs one from another for another the prescription of rest in your career would be for you to go for another maybe do additional courses for another person rest in their career would mean a change of jobs for another one rest in the marriage would mean go and learn how to take care of your home it is not a prayer item it is not a spiritual matter as it were it has something to do with the way you take care of your house to another person it may be love your wife to another one it may be be submissive so the prescription of rest differs and all we need to do is to place a demand on heaven that we shall be able to encounter what it takes to be at rest god knows what i need god knows what you need and god is going to be communicating it to us in this conference and that is why beginning tonight in the night vigil we are going to be calling upon the lord we are going to be telling the lord we need rest we need rest i have been troubled enough in this marriage i have cried long enough i have been barren for many years i have not known peace in my home i have not known peace because of this issue because of this challenge others it will be your own peace you need rest because of certain habits certain things that that have held you bound praise the lord and what a joy we shall be having adequate time to pray we are going to pray for the conference we are going to pray for the ministers and we are going to pray for ourselves we are going to pray for connectivity we are going to pray that there shall be no interruption in our services whatsoever praise the lord and i know god is faithful i know god is faithful i know jehovah is faithful and god is going to do exactly that in the name of jesus hallelujah god is a faithful god god is an awesome god and i know god will be able to do it in our lives in the name of jesus we are going to also pray that god will reveal the enemies father what are the enemies of my children what are the enemies of my business? What is the enemy of the assignment that you gave me? What is the enemy? Praise the Lord. What is the enemy? Lord, reveal to me the enemy. The enemy of my marriage. The enemy of my success. The enemy of my advancement. I have been jobless long enough. Lord, what is the enemy? What is this barrier that is standing between me and my open door? What is the barrier that is hindering me from being joyfully married? What is this that makes me become, a, my body is challenged, one sickness after the other? Lord, reveal my enemy. Reveal the very things that the enemy has put his foot on and cause me to escape in the name of Jesus. Cause me to escape in the name of Jesus. Cause me, Jehovah, to escape in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I know God is going to visit us and God is going to do us good in the name of Jesus. God is going to open his hand and cause us to step into new dimensions. God is going to open his hands and cause us to be blessed and cause us to be lifted. I see the Lord God Almighty opening unto us the heavens.
causing the dew of heaven to rest afresh upon us, bringing unto us our desires in the name of Jesus. God is going to ensure that we are able to move from glory to glory. We are able to step into new dimensions. God, our God, is going to make sure that the heavens, that the way ahead of us is clear. Remember, we are also praying, Lord, in 2021, give me rest. 2019, 2020, 2015, Lord, there have been battles in my life. Give me rest. And all that we are going to present before the Lord. And I know God will give us rest because that is his purpose. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'd like us to be ready for what awaits us in the night. Let's take time and begin to package ourselves for the conference. Let's be there, ready to honor the vessels of God, ready to be present, to receive the word of God, and to share our testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you, and may God give you peace, now and forever, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Peace. God bless you. Let's meet for our night vigil. We are going to post the announcement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. In case you're listening and you're not born again, please repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. I pray that Lord you will be able to reach unto me in the name of Jesus. Forgive me of my sins and make me a brand new creature. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen and amen.